Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It feels like forever since I've done a proper like full on sit down video. Like I've been just doing vlogs recently I think because they're like so much easier. Like I just find them so much easier because I can just get up and like have no makeup on and start vlogging and it's like real. <laughs> um, I don't have to like do my makeup and like sit down and I don't know it's just like it's just easier to vlog. I don't know why. But yeah, I do enjoy these like sort of videos as well. Basically, this video is a video, kind of like a review and like a try out sort of haul. <laughs> it's like a review, a haul, and a try out <laughs> um, of makeup from AliExpress. I ordered this ages and ages ago, and obviously it took a few weeks to come. And then I've had it for weeks as well. I just haven't actually done a video on it I always was planning on it that was like my main reason for buying it but I've always myself wanted to really try it so thought why not kill two birds with one stone I have a few bits from them I haven't really used anything properly I've tried them a little tiny bit except for the lip balm that I got this is the lip balm I got and I've used it to death so yeah that's the only thing okay so let's just get into the video so I'm going to start with the lip balm because as I already told you I have pretty much used all of it. It was like a big roundy thing like that. You know how EOS is like that? It's like, I think it's supposed to be kind of like a dupe for that. But it smells so nice and it's actually such a good lip balm. Like it's really, really good. It really, really works because I'm such a like lip balm snob. I like only have a few favourites and then I get sick of them after a while. Like, it's like they work well at the start and then they start to go downhill. But this just has been working the whole time. Like it's pretty much all gone now and I'm still loving it. So yeah, I would definitely recommend that. It says Romantic Bear on it. I'm going to link everything actually below anyways. So yeah, you don't have to worry about that. I don't even know what um, it's meant to be. It could be like cherry or something maybe because it's pink. It doesn't really smell like it though. But it just smells sweet. It smells nice. I got like the smell of it. The next thing that I got is... 3D highlighter liquid glow and the packaging looks really really nice and then when you open it the actual bottle looks really really good as well so yeah it looks great but it's not great I've tried it and it's just not good it's just not good <laughs> at all so this is the shade number three and it's tan and like it's just not the right like kind of color for me like I don't know really why I got this color I just kind of did. I don't know. I just I'll show you it on my hand. It's like it smells like paint, like like it actually smells like paint. Like house paint. It's not great. And like how can that be okay for your skin if it smells like paint? That's what I feel. Yeah, like it looks good and then you like rub it in and stuff, but it's just like no like the color is like a no for me like it's just doesn't really like it's not really like highlighty do you get me it's just not good <laughs> but the bottle looks cute like it does look good from the outside i think it's like a copy of the iconic london drops or some other company maybe you know there's a few that make that kind of highlighter and i think they're really good but that's just not really at least the bottle's cute and everything was so cheap as well. Everything was like one euro and two euro, so I'm not too worried. Next up, I got a pigment. It comes in a little box like that. Looks pretty good. And I also got a green one. I'm not really sure why I got green because I never wear green, but I thought I'd. I'm guessing that I wanted it as like a cute little pop on my eyes. I don't really know, but I'm sure I'll use it sometime. I do like pigments. I just haven't used pigment in ages. I'm gonna just swatch them on my hand and see what they're like maybe. Honestly it looks like fairly good in the bottle. They're fairly big like full tubs as well that you get like it's not shabby. It's not amazing. I think it's not really really pigmented or anything, but it's definitely not bad. Like I definitely definitely use that. I don't know how it looks in the camera because my hand just looks white to me from here. The colour is actually called rose gold 
and it's very rose like it's very pink but it does have like specks of gold in it kind of I really don't know if you can see that but it actually looks quite nice to be honest I'm definitely gonna use that so the green one comes with this fancy like top on it and obviously it comes with a lid as well I don't know about this one No, I wouldn't be into that one. No, it's just not good. It's not like sparkly or pigmenty and it's not really it's like um it's kinda like the same texture as like do you know there's like kids eyeshadows that you get and the colour is like not good. Like there's no really it's not great pigment to be honest. No. I'm not really feeling that now, sorry. Next up is lip liner. I actually have used this a good few times, even though it's a little bit lighter. Than I prefer but it is quite good so, like the actual pencil is really nice it's like a bit creamy but not um too creamy yeah it's quite good though I have it on today underneath my lip gloss it doesn't even have colour it just says nine on it <laughs> gorgeous Next up I got this lipstick and it clearly is supposed to be a dupe or like a copy of Mariah Carey's MAC collection lipsticks and like the packaging looks really good. Like I really think it looks very similar except for the colour on the bottom is like bright peach and it has stars around it but um, yeah the rest of it's quite good. It's like gold here and then little sparkles here. I'm sure you'd notice if you had them beside each other or if you're looking at like looking at it like up close but um it looks nice like it would look nice just on your um makeup table but the actual lipstick doesn't really look great like it's kind of like a crayon <laughs> the colour is not too bad though and um it it honestly smells like a crayon though like it literally smells like a Crayola crayon. It's not great. But yeah, the colour is quite nice. I'll show you a swatch. Like it's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. But I still don't know if I'd wear it just because it smells like a crayon. <laughs> it does look pretty good. It's very pinky though. Next up I got makeup brushes from their website and they're honestly surprisingly not too bad. You can see that I've used them all but I haven't cleaned them. Um, so yeah they came in like plastic like that and they look pretty good. Like they look like crayon brushes I think that they look quite similar to. But they're actually not too bad like I've used. Um, I used this one like in the crease of my eye and it was actually very good. I used, um, they all came in a set. And I've used a few of them for blending, like they're not amazing for blending, but like I'm not amazing at blending anyway, so <laughs> yeah, they're good. Like if you use them with your other good brushes. I just feel like it's handy to have a few brushes like this that um I can just use for like like I just use them for orange at the moment, so like for orangey shades I'll just use them and then I'll just use my other ones to like blend them out so I don't have to go cleaning like loads and loads and loads of brushes. Every single time I want to do my eyeshadow a different colour. Um, so yeah, I have got lots of other brushes that are really good. So I just like combine them with these. Like They're honestly not too bad at all. And they were really, really cheap. It doesn't matter to you now. Yeah, Beef's just going to come over here. You were just going to meet up for a chat or anyway, were you? I'm just going to go for food, but we're just going to eat here or something. Okay. And watch a movie or something. Okay. Anyway, I'm in the middle of recording a flipping video, if you don't actually mind. Like, do you think I just sit here with the camera in front of me for the banter? Last, I got this pour eraser, and it's obviously um, supposed to be a copy of Maybelline's Baby Skin Instant Pour Eraser, and they just changed a couple of things on the packaging. <laughs> Just says Kanya and then says babe skin instead of baby skin and then it has pore eraser instead of instant pore eraser 
and I don't know why it says pore eraser because it just doesn't erase even one pore and this like it's just it makes me feel sick when I think about using it because it just smells weird and the texture of it is just not right at all I'm gonna show you the difference between the like formulas it when I got this bear in mind it came in in like a plastic little bag and that pink stuff was all over it and I was just like um but yeah so this is it like it's like the same texture as yogurt <laughs> that's how I describe it or moisturizer and it kind of smells like moisturizer as well so I, I honestly I'm pretty sure it's just moisturizer it's kind of like a gluey texture though like my fingers like stick into it. it's really really sticky This is the actual one in comparison, it's just like clear. So yeah, it's nothing alike at all and yeah, I definitely wouldn't recommend that. Okay guys, so that's everything. I feel like it's not everything, but that is everything. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope that was helpful if you're thinking of ordering from AliExpress. Um, I'm pretty sure the shipping was free and it didn't, it took like two or three weeks, I think, something like that. All the packages also came differently, so I felt like it was like Christmas. Like, I'd get like two or three packages like every day for like three days or something like that. So I was like, what is this? <laughs> then I remembered because you know the way you order stuff, and then when it takes that long to come, you completely forget that you've even ordered it. So, but yeah, so that brings us to the end of the video. I'll see you guys soon. I also have a vlog coming up probably tomorrow. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss that and I'll see you soon. Bye.